Hello, welcome to AthoraAcademy.com. My name is Kaushal Kishore and today we will learn about the file entity browser module in Drupal 8. Uh, this is the, this module normally provide an interface for uploading and inserting the image into the CK editor and this module is only available for Drupal 8. In Drupal 7 this module was not available. Okay, for installing this module, first download this module and it, uh, currently the development version is available only and no stable version is available but uh, this will work fine okay uh, first download this module and install it in your Drupal uh, okay uh, I already downloaded it uh, okay in my web folder tutorial and I extracted this module as a here is the module file browser Okay, uh, for enabling the module, go on the administration panel and click on the extents. Okay, and search for this module file browser. This is the module. Liver provides a default entity browser for files using Mansory and the image, images loaded. These both are the JavaScript plugins, and uh, for enabling both of this, we have to. Uh, Install it first and download both of the libraries from the git repository and place it into the libraries directly in the Drupal 8. Okay, I have enabled it and click on the install. Okay, uh, there is some error that file browser requires the image loaded library and the masonry library. Okay, these are the paths that from where we can get these libraries and the first path is this and the second path is this both are available in the git repository so copy and paste both and you can download zip and you can download zip uh, here the, there is a source code i have already downloaded it and uh, where <coughs> these both are the files just i am copying it and place it into the libraries folder because all I have already uh, downloaded a library drop drop zone dot js which is required by the entity browser in Drupal 8. Okay, uh, now we have three libraries drop zone dot js and the image loaded and the masonry. Okay, now I am going to Drupal control panel administration panel and re enabling the module. Okay, we click on the install button and it's installing and it will configure all the default configuration of the file browser and there is an error that unable to install file browser because there is embed button file browser and image style file browser thumbnail already existing activity active configuration actually I have already installed it and so that some of the configuration has been saved in the database so I will first delete those configurations the first one is the embed button file browser okay um, uh, embed button file browser so I am going here and where can I get it first click on the configurations and these are the text editor and embed buttons <coughs> and this is the file browser button so delete it I am deleting it this this is here because I have already installed it so some of the configuration exists in the database so I am deleting it and the second one is saying that the image style is there so for deleting the image style I am going to the configuration part and delete one of the image styles and this is the entity so delete it and delete okay i have deleted both of the settings okay now i am again going to uh, install the file browser module then enable it and install and i think i hope that it will install now Uh, 
okay it is taking too much time but there are some configuration which the file browser is creating so okay uh, by the help of file browser we can select it okay uh, good uh, the file browser has been installed okay uh, now uh, how can we use the file browser uh, okay i am going to create a content first and uh, i'm going to add content and suppose i'm going to create an article and in full html part uh, there is a button e but i have to insert a new button here for adding the file browser so for adding this button first go to the configuration bar and uh, after that test okay uh, what's the configuration i have deleted and, uh, after the installing of that the file browser both of the configuration has been Uh, recreated for uh, seeing the configurations we can click then this button has been uh, is here and we can also edit this button and edit this icon with our icons and when we click on edit then we can replace this icon with our icons okay uh, this is the remove button and when we click on the remove button then you have to you will have an option for reuploading it okay uh, okay let's uh, enable the button in the ck editor for enabling the button click on the test formats and editors and i'm going on the full html part okay the button is here and for enabling it is just drag and drop this is the available button and this is the active toolbar in the active toolbar i am placing it uh, after the image part and click on <coughs> save after clicking on the save then the configuration has been saved and when we refresh this page article page then select the full html then this button is here and when we click on it okay uh, for inserting the file from the file browser click on this icon and uh, here you can drag and drop the files if you want to upload the files then click or drop files here to upload them or you can choose it from the file listing okay suppose i am choosing this file and select files okay it's uh, and uh, display as a nic file or media then i am selecting as a media and link mesh to file and alternative text what the alternative text do you want and the title and what will the alignment okay uh, what is the image style suppose so i am choosing the image style uh, 220 to 220 click on the embed part okay after clicking on the embed part this file will be inserted into our uh, ck editor browser okay when we click on the show then you can see the code for uh, for referencing the file with the content part okay uh, then this is the uh, entity browser the file browser from which we can uh, add files into the into our content okay and now you can see that okay, this is the file and when we click on it then it's showing the uh, original file okay uh, this is all about the entity browser sorry a file browser uh, thanks for watching our video thank you very much